This is Playmo Bello and this is set 3785 from the year 1994. This is the Virginian Mountain Boys, a Western Civil War set. Comes with two horses, actually three horses, three characters and an awesome wagon. So this is one of the artworks from the side of the box. You have the transport without the cloth at the top and then here you have the captain with a soldier, a Civil War soldier. This is the back of the box with all the accessories listed and this is the other side of the box and the front of course. But there's a lot you can do with this set. One thing you can do is you can remove both horses from the wagon, from the chariot and now you have three men on horse, three soldiers that are mounted. This horse does not have the rigging to hold on to. It doesn't really matter because it looks alright, you don't need to hold on that and if you want to buy that separate you can always add to it later. This is how you connect the horses, you just plug these on these and this little piece here, if you look at it, this piece connects to the side of the horse as well. I connected them back and look how sturdy everything feels because they're connected here right in the middle and it has this part here in the front that you connect two more horses if you buy the rigging for it. The front here of the wagon you have this area that opens up and of course there are hidden money bags inside. Once the seat is closed you can seat two soldiers in there, two characters. They can hold here on the side like this guy is holding it and then you can just ride anywhere. He is holding the whip because to ride a horse back in the days you would whip their butts so they would just feel pain, extreme pain and that would force them to actually ride faster. Well as I said the pain of the whipping is sometimes so extreme that the horse just lays down and passes away unfortunately this one can't take it any longer so now they only have one horse pulling the carriage hopefully they will make it to where they need to deliver the weapons. This set comes with one awesome captain he has his own horse and his horse has a special saddle full of compartments in the back there is a roll bed, a spot for his rifle he does have the rigging to hold on to the horse and direct the horse. The front of the chariot uh, if you look at it you can turn the wheel to go left and right here in the back you have another compartment, a crate that you can put stuff in there. I like to put pistols but they're hard to take it out. You remove the top, put it on the side and now you have this whole carriage that has all these crates you can remove. It comes with a big chest, a red chest and two rifle crates that says Virginian on top of it. If you have any Playmobil set you know how this works. You push sideways it locks, push that way it opens and I put some pistols on this one because it does not come with treasure. This crate here you just open the top and you have four Civil War rifles inside. This Playmobil here is using the, the gun but there is no way to shoot it unless you, unless you shoot like this. Both crates have weapons inside so right here in these two crates you have eight rifles plus the rifle from the captain. So you have eight rifles plus one is nine and then for some reason Playmobil also included two more rifles. So in total this set comes with 11 rifles and five pistols. One of the pistols is here on this guy's holster right there. And the other four pistols, like I said, I put in this chest. You can put in this crate or in this seat here or inside the box with the rifles. It's really up to you. This set also has a seat inside here that you can move around. See, the seat is removable. Now I can have the seat right here if I want to. And so this character can sit right there in the middle. And you can have another character in here side here you have a uh, holder for the the barrel you can say this barrel has powder or water water was very important for the war because everyone needs to drink and it's hard to bring water to the front 
So it would be normal to have a chariot full of weapons bringing the weapons water or beer, alcohol to the front to survive the war. I like to keep the seat over here because then you can have the crates on the back there and it just uh, looks more organized, it doesn't take much space and you can still seat characters in the back if you want. You can fit only four characters in the back here. I just put all the characters in there. Unless you have two guys standing on top of each other, you cannot fit six in the back there, only four. So four in the back is the appropriate number, two in the front here is pretty good. Plus, of course, the captain that rides alongside, not in the chariot. Another thing you can do, you can make this a tent. It looks like a tent on the ground. And you can hide your weapon inside or so. And use the chariot for something else. Whoop. The character can hold on the side's handles. And he can carry the crate. And right here on the back, there's a little secret feature that very few people know. It's a spot to hold your bucket. And if you were wondering as much as I was, you cannot hide a body in this crate. It's not big enough, unfortunately. I tried, but as you can see, maybe a child. Once the war is over, they all get paid handsomely and the horses get some rest, some food and water. That's why Playmobil included three money bags with all of this. You can play that these are bags of bullets or powder. Or even actual money that's being transported throughout the fronts of war. Playmobil was certainly not shy about giving rifles to the 11 rifles just in this set. 5 pistols, 3 money bags, 2 crates of rifles. The heck, there's a rifle inside the crate. Now we have 11. There is a yellow cape, a white cowboy hat, 3 characters. This guy has a little scarf, this guy has white wrist cuffs, and this guy has yellow wrist cuffs. This guy does not come with wrist cuffs. I did check and it shows on the box that he does not have one. The barrel, the barrel holder, the, the treasure chest, the extra horse with a bedroll in the back, two other horses, and a whip. Also, the two of the characters have this belt of bullets. Very awesome looking belt of bullets. This is what they look like. This guy has a 5 o'clock beard. This guy has just a lower beard. And this one is just an average looking face. And that's it. 37.85 from 1994.